have a taste of your juice. So I'm on my break from work and I'm making, trying out this fake little setup to hold the camera. I'm on my way to do three things. I'm dropping by Home Depot because I'm I'm setting up my mantle and I'm, I need to put my mirror up. And I'm trying to use real clamps to hold it up or some kind of L brackets. It's gonna lean against the wall. It's not gonna be actually hanging on the wall, but I wanna make sure that the mirror doesn't even have the ability to fall over. So I'm gonna do that. I'm also going to the Goodwill. I have this desk or a little side table and some stuff in the trunk that I'm dropping off. And then I'm going to the dollar store, the Dollar Tree, because I'm gonna try to find some way to create um, two candlesticks, two different heights, and that's also gonna be on the mantle. So hopefully that can become a nice little Dollar Tree project. Hi. decor in the Dollar Tree near me. Sparkly is definitely good. Scarecrow sticks. These are the leaves I use for my other project. These are really cute. They have them in gold too. Nice. Ooh, this is cute. I like this one. I'm in one of my favorite stores right now, Home Depot, and had to pick up this filter for the fridge. And also, I'm trying to get the clamps that I needed for the mirror that I want to put on the mantle. So I'm walking around, looking around, trying to figure something out, and a guy there who doesn't even work here asked me if he could help. And just talking to him, he gave me a brilliant idea. So thank you, sir. Um, but yeah, I'm looking for what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna to talk it up, so you'll see what I'm gonna do next. Fancy knob like this. Hmm. 
That might be a bit too big. I mean, would that even work? Okay. It might not be in this section here, but I'm gonna keep looking and I'll let you know what I come up with. Oh, also, I'm here at night. It's about 8.30. I had to wait till after work because I didn't have time to run over here on my break. It's so dark out, I can't even... Oh, I'm, not, I'm not ready for the dark evenings yet. It's eight o'clock, it was already dark. After this, I'm running over to Burlington because I couldn't find what I wanted at the Dollar Tree to make my candlesticks. This is gonna be an explanation video on how to keep this mirror positioned on this mantle with help from the guy at Home Depot that I talked about last night. So to explain, the guy at Home Depot suggested that I screw a nail directly into the mantle, which I wanted to do anyway, but I was gonna do that in the back. He said if I put a nail down to the front of the mantle, that would hold this mirror from sliding forward. And he's like, oh, just put a flower in front of it. And then I thought of these. These are ever built hanger bolts and it comes in a pack of four. I only need two. So this is what it looks like. It's exactly what I needed. This end of it will go down into the mantle and this part of it is where this knob is going to hold. Step one will be to position the mirror on the mantle the way I want. And then I'm gonna measure either side to get the midpoint to make sure that the mirror is centered on the mantle. over this way so now I'm gonna measure the same distance from the edge of the mantle to the mirror it's almost three inches the mirror is almost three inches from the edge this is a pretty narrow mantle okay so that's perfect so now we're gonna mark about We're gonna go in about seven inches from the edge on both sides, and I'm going to mark that here with a pencil. And I'm gonna mark the other side. Here's my seven inch mark, and the knob is gonna sit back that far. So I'm gonna drill a hole here, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And to make these easier to insert because there's nothing really to grip onto to turn it in, I'm gonna put the knob on first and then use that to hold it in. So there we go. And there's that one. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna glue some diamond wrap to this thing here to make it look more decorative and match the mirror. And I'm gonna do that to both pieces. And when I got this mirror, it had this piece already attached to it. I'm removing this and I'm gonna put this onto the top of the mirror because I'm gonna use this to secure it on the wall without hanging it, just to prevent it from tipping down. I'm gonna attach this to the screw that's already in the wall. So right here, I'm gonna remove that and I'm gonna add this to it so that I have something to secure that to this while it's up here. So here it is attached. There it is. And then I'm gonna put this up here I'm gonna put this up here. I just got this from Burlington last night. It's a nice crystal cross. I'm gonna put this candlestick here. I got the candlestick from Burlington as well. I already had the candles, so I do have two of those. Um, these are just some white candles that I purchased. I, I got these from Burlington last year. Um, I didn't take the tags off yet. I was just trying to see if if I like this height, and I do. So I'll be taking those off. But I don't like this distressed look on here. So I am gonna take 
I'm going to spray paint these a nice metallic silver and then I'm going to put rhinestone bling on the same diamond wrap from there. I'm going to put around this bottom rim on each of these and around this top rim on these two. And that's what it's going to look like.